Hello my peeps. This Algebra Nation video will cover the left side of page 30. Let's get started with the practice problem. So at Walt Disney World, there are snacks on almost every corner. A turkey leg, which is one of my favorite snacks, $15 each. A Mickey-shaped ice cream cone costs $8. And a large cup of Mickey's famous fruit punch costs $6. The Jones family is on vacation and ordered three turkey legs, five Mickey-shaped ice cream cones, and five cups of the famous fruit punch. In part A, they want us to determine what's the total cost of all of the family's food and drink. So let's write out a problem. So I'll say total cost. So first, let's determine how much it costs them for turkey legs. So how many turkey legs did they order? Three. And at the cost of $15 each. So three times. Plus, what's the next thing they ordered? They ordered Mickey shaped ice cream, and that's eight dollars. And how many of those did they order? Five. So five times eight dollars. <coughs> Plus, how many famous fruit punch did they order? Five cups of famous fruit punch. And let's multiply that times how much each of the fruit punch costs. Six dollars for each cup of famous fruit punch. So five times six dollars. So now we can add this all up. But before we add it all up and find the total cost, let's find the individual cost. So you can pull out your calculators if you need. What's three times fifteen? So three times fifteen. That equals forty-five dollars. So they spent forty-five dollars on turkey lady. Plus Five times eight, and that'll give us the amount of money they spent on ice Mickey-shaped ice cream cones. So five times eight dollars. Sorry, I did that wrong. That times eighty. Here. Minus ten five for her. Eight. And that gives us forty dollars. So they spent forty dollars on ice cream cones. Plus, let's determine how much they spent on the famous for punch. They bought five of them, and each of them are six dollars. So five times six, and that gives us thirty dollars. So they spent forty-five dollars on the turkey, leg, forty dollars on the Mickey-shaped ice cream cone, and thirty dollars on the famous fruit punch. And if we add them all up, that should give us the total cost. So forty-five plus forty. Another minus 10 if you're counting out there. Plus 40 plus 30. So we spent $115. And just something to keep in mind, just as I made it with you, calculate, calculate it once or twice just to double check your answer. So let's calculate it one more time. 45 plus 40, 40 plus 30, 115. So the Jones spent $115 on three turkey legs, five sticky shaped ice cream cones, and five famous fruit punch. Now, that was the total cost, but what is the total cost after we include tax? We all know tax when we go to buy stuff in Florida, we experience 6% tax. So, I'm going to call it total cost. multiple ways. You can add the total cost plus the tax, which is 6% of 115. And remember, 6% is how to get it to a decimal is divided by 100. So 6% divided by 100 is just simply 0 0.06. And you multiply that times 115. And that will give you the total cost, including the tax. So let's figure out what percent of the 115 is so 0 0.06 times 115. So that gives us six dollars and ninety cents, six point nine. So this would be one fifteen plus six dollars and ninety cents. And now you can calculate in your head that's great, otherwise you can use a calculator. So 
$6,000 plus the tax, which is $6.90. So plus $6.9. So the total with tax comes out to $121.90. So when the Jones went to Walt Disney World and they bought three turkey joints, five Mickey ice cream cones, and five famous fruit punch, the total cost was $115, but that didn't account for add the 6% tax in, the total is $121.90. That was a very expensive bill at Disney World. Hope this was helpful. I think it's time for a brain break. I hope you have moves like this guy on the state exam in May. Nice. I think that's definitely worthy of a three ninety nine on the state exam. One more problem. Let's take a look at a practice problem. So what is f of four minus f of two for the function f of x? equal to 2x minus 6. Now, do you remember how we solve an equation like this? First off, how do we even solve f of 4? We plug in 4 every time we see x. What f of 4 is saying, we want f of x such that x is equal to 4. So let's make that step 1. So step 1, find f of 4. And all you have to do to do this is plug in 4 for x. So we'll have 2 times 4 minus 6. And you know what 2 times 4 is, right? Correct, 8. So we have 8 minus 6. You know what 8 minus 6 is? Correct, 2. Now if you need to, you can use your calculator, but for such small numbers, it's not really necessary. So let's go on to step number two, and I'll use a different color. So for step two, let's figure out what f of negative two is equal to. So step two, f of negative two. So now, same as we did in step one, plug in negative two every time you see x. So it's two times negative two minus six. And during what's two times two? So 2 times negative 2, negative 4, minus 6. Now a negative minus a positive is just like adding a negative to negative. So negative 4 minus 6 is just negative 10. So now we know that f of 4 is 2, and we know f of negative 2 is 10. So lastly, for step 3, let's find what f of 4 minus f of negative 2 is. Step three, which will be our final step, you want to figure out what's f of four minus f of negative two. Now, to, to figure this out, all we have to do is plug in what we found for f of four and plug in what we found for f of negative two. So, do you remember what you found for f of four? Two. We'll just plug in two minus, and what did we find for f of negative two? f of negative 2 is equal to 10. Negative 10, sorry. Negative 10 is very important. So 2 minus, 2 minus negative 10. So 2 minus negative 10 is just the same as 2 plus 10, right? So when you minus a negative, it's like adding it. So 2 plus 10 is equal to 12. So the original question 